Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, So, If you are new here, hey, I am Zo, mommy of four, lifestyle content creator. And if you are a returning sub, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Make sure that you would like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe, and subscribe. We back with another video. <laughs> So, I know that it is currently holiday season, it's Christmas time, everybody out catching in Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday deals, um, and just overall discounted deals this season. So, in this video, I'm going to be dropping y'all five tips on how to budget for the holiday season, okay? Because if you are a mommy like, a mommy like me, and you have more than one kid, I four, <laughs> um... I know you might want to hear this okay so if you are um, stuck and you don't know what to buy or how you're gonna buy it or you just need that you know that little kick in the butt to give you a little bit of motivation just a little bit a little bit goes a long way okay and this video is for you all right um so budgeting five tips I got for y'all five five y'all can take them y'all can listen to them y'all can do what I say, or y'all can pass them along. It's up to y'all. I ain't here to force y'all to do nothing y'all don't want to do. So, Tip number one, you want to set a budget, okay? You got to determine how much you want to spend or are willing to spend the holiday season. Um, and you kind of want to divide it up with your kids, so give each kid, you know, their own budget. That's what you want to do. Now, if you got a lot of kids like me, that's four, all right? So... You got to buy that up by phone, okay? <laughs> so that's what you want to do. You want to set a budget. Set a budget, set a budget. Stick to it, all right? Stick to it. I know sometimes I don't stick to my budget, but it's important. Um, Y'all remember talking about budgets in high school and middle school? Stick to it. They told us we was going to need it. Number two, you want to list all of your expenses. Okay, for expenses, you want to break everything down into its own category. So, what are you going to spend on toys? What are you going to spend on clothes, shoes, um, all that good stuff? Even decorations and travel if you plan on, you know, traveling for the holiday season, going home to visit, you know, family, things of that nature. Sometimes I don't list mine because they be here, but sometimes it's best to just write them out and just list them. So you don't have to keep so much information up there you know if you're a mom you know number three you want to create a gift list a gift list so um that could simply mean you going to your kids like hey what do you want for christmas and you know picking something off that list or a few things off that list and stick it to it especially if you got a budget already wrote down and in your head stick to it that's it all right Step four, you want to start early. This is my biggest, like, issue. This is my biggest, biggest issue. I don't start early. Mm -hmm. I feel like I be feeling like I'm starting early, and really, I be starting late or at the last minute. So, early could be as early as October. Like, that's what I be trying to push for every year, but sometimes it don't fall through, so I end up starting like the end of November. Which isn't too bad, but start early the earlier the better See, okay when starting early you want to take advantage of sales you want to take advantage of discounts you want to take advantage of cyber monday black friday even though some stores typically have sales going on like the whole holiday season just pay attention to that don't just go in there balling out remember your budget i'm gonna keep saying that remember your budget and that leads us into step five take advantage of discounts take advantage of sales um thrift if it's possible. Um, I know that there's a store, Once Upon a Child, it's a really great store for kids. Uh, sometimes they have new items in there. Sometimes they're gently, gently used. So just, you know, exhaust all of your options. Exhaust all of your options. That goes for both online and in store because they have a lot of good deals online too that a lot of people, you know, sometimes skip over. 
but they have a lot of stores in they have a lot of sales in stores that a lot of people tend to skip over like myself because I don't go out shopping that much and those are my five steps y'all I am going to close this with saying um it doesn't hurt to save throughout the year so you can get you like a piggy bank and you know you can put um money in there every day or every week or every month you can set a certain amount for yourself i actually think i'm gonna start doing this because i have so many people i think i'm gonna start doing this for myself because i have four kids and then i have you know some children as well so get a piggy bank set a goal um i see a lot of the envelope challenges going on for the year for the month you know you can start the new year off with that um just so that when it's Christmas time again next year, you know, whatever is in that jar or whatever are in those envelopes, you can use towards Christmas. You get what I'm saying? Decorations, gifts, anything you want to use it for. Anyway, I hope that this video has helped someone. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you do budget, let me know what kind of uh, budgeting plan that you do when it's like holiday season or even birthday birthdays and stuff like that. Uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if this video has helped you. And peace.